Hey guys, what did you think of Unfriended? I thought it was great. Like it was really scary. I I, I thought it was awesome too. Like I was so scared. What did you think of it, Core? Oh gee. <sighs> it was good. I I, do- <sighs> I thought. I don't know what movie you guys saw. But that movie was absolutely terrible. It was so bad. I thought it was filled with completely unlikable characters. No scares. It sucked. It was terrible. I freaking hated it. You guys are freaking morons for loving it. Never mind. Why'd you say that, Big Luck? What? I... That was messed what? up. Yeah, it was him. Why'd you, why'd you say no, that? Wait. Lord, just come off say that. now. I didn't Those say that. Alright, guys, so I personally haven't seen the movie, but, like, I want to uh, ask you some questions about it, kind of like an interview kind of thing, but, like, uh, what was, like, your favorite, well, let's say, like, what, what was, like, the scariest part of the movie for you guys? Uh, should I go first? I'll yeah, go first. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, sorry, go over. <laughs> uh, Unfriended is a scary movie, I thought, and my, probably the scariest part about it is that it doesn't really do jump scares. It does, but it's not, like, it's not typical, like, obvious generic jump scares. Unless it's the end. The ending is a generic jump scare. But, um, throughout the movie, they don't do the generic stuff. Uh, there's one scare that I thought was really, really good and it really set up the mood. Uh, it's the second death of the movie. Uh, we talked about it a lot, but let, let, me, just, let me just mention it. Uh, I really enjoyed this death scene with the fat kid <laughs> in the blender. Um, <laughs> it's my favorite death scene. It is, and it actually, it's spooky because it's just like, alright, there's a camera in his room. He notices the camera. He stares at the camera for about maybe a good minute, and everybody's like, "What the hell's going on?" He's just staring at the camera, and then it, like the call ends, and everybody's like, "What the hell's going on?" So they call him back, and then right when they call him back, the video goes up. It's like it, it does a little spiral thing, loading the video, and he's just like he's stuffing his arm in the freaking blender. He's going ah, and it ends again. And you're like, "Oh, well, that sucks." Let me call him back again. Spiral thing loads, and then he's just. Well, I, I don't know, why would you call him back? <laughs> well, I want, I want to see how it ends. Uh, so he's just stuffing his throat in the blender, and he's, he's that's the last time you see him. And that really, and that's not really a spoiler, that's in the trailer. I just want to say, okay, so if you call that a spoiler, blame the studio, because they put that in the trailer. And right. immediately, that is the best uh, kill in the movie. So, and the best uh, the scary scene, because it really does like, oh, what's going to happen? And then they call him back, and he's just like, ah! It was like, <laughs> that's really well done. So, I'm like, well, what's your favorite? Well, what was the scariest part for you? Um, in my opinion, the scariest part was, I mean, I did like that death scene a lot, but my yeah. favorite death is one that was not, like, really at all shown in the trailer. Yeah. And... So you probably no- shouldn't spoil it. You, you could say what it is that yeah. killed the person. Um, all I'm gonna it. say is there's, like, a curling iron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And it goes in someone's mouth, and... That's really all Jeez, I'm gonna say. like, burn your tongue off as well. <laughs> it's... It's... Alright, alright. Alright, we gotta press on. Who's your favorite actor in the movie? Like, who is, like, the, your favorite character? Alright, well, none of them were really... I mean, they're good actors. They're not really the like most likable characters, yep. which makes it easy for you to not really care when they die. But there's a lot of really good moments of, like, tension between the characters. And my favorite character is probably actually the Ken guy, because even though all of them are really unlikable, and Ken's the fat guy, by the way, uh, even though they're all unlikable, at least Ken was funny at times. There was times where, like, the girl, obviously the movie's all on a computer screen, and this girl's just, like, doing her I am stuff, and talking to her boyfriend through I am, even though she, he's in the yeah. Skype call, all that stuff. Um, and there's times where she actually shares the screen, and there's times where she's, she's like, hovering over a link, and the, the Ken guy's like, click it! Hey, what the hell are you doing? And there's a bunch of moments where he's just, he's just so blunt in the way he talks, that I was like, I like that guy, and of course he, he gets killed off pretty quickly, but, um, Again, not spoiler. They spoil it in the trailer. Um, if it, my 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 motto is, it's not motto. I don't know why I said that. Um, it's if you spoil something in the trailer, I can spoil it in my review. So uh, that's how I, that's how I see it. Um, and 
Uh, I thought he was probably the most likable character. Best actor, I don't think they're all about the same. I think maybe the boyfriend is probably the best actor of them all. Um, only because he has a he has a part where he has to break down, and it's it's well That's done. Cool. So, yeah. Michael, well, for you, who is your favorite character? My favorite character was easily Jess. She was a typical, you know, slut in the movie, but yeah. oh, I see why it's your character. Yep, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's pretty it. much. Over, overall, though, I mean, Jess, she she like like Ken. She was also pretty blunt with whatever she said, like. There's a scene in the beginning with her and this girl, Vale, and I was like, damn, yeah, you go, even though you're yeah. unlikable as hell, you go. You go, girl. Like, exactly. You go, girl. Alright, so, yeah, um, I agree with that, actually. That's cool. No. Alright, so I'm gonna start, like, wrapping this up. If you guys had to give it, like, a final verdict, what would you give it? Okay. I thought it was a really well done, very suspenseful thriller slash horror movie. I had good deaths. Didn't show too much. It wasn't too jump scary. Uh, the characters weren't t particularly likable, but there was good actors in there. The premise itself was well done. Uh, it was well executed. All the IMing, Facebook, all that stuff. It, it worked really well. Um, and actually had some really creepy parts here and there. Um, what I really, really want to say, one thing I really want to say is the ending. We mentioned it earlier. The ending, uh, last 10 seconds, exactly. The last 10 seconds were... If they just cut the last 10 seconds out, it would be perfect, but, and well, maybe not perfect, but it would be good. Well, like that extra mile. Yeah, they had to just do that last jump scare, so you could leave the theater and go, wow, that was really scary. It never uh, works. It's not, it never works. Uh, Paranormal Activity, that's a great film. I think the first one's still great, but it's... It's, whatever. I don't know, it's a, it's a, the, the sequel's kind of ruined it. Yeah, but, like, the first one and this had the... The girl with the devil face jumping towards the camera and then it ends, you know, directed by whoever the hell. Um, and I thought that was the worst part, but for the most part, it was really creepy. It had great death scenes, not too bloody. So if you're into maybe the horror movies that had, don't have too much too much blood, then uh, you'll like this. It, it's still it's scary. It's well made. I liked it. Uh, do we do, do like zero to tens or something? I do a uh, sure. five. You, you do have like five, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I, you yeah, I, have, well, I have a long reason why I do out of 40. Um, I asked you that one time. Uh, uh, I'll, no, I'll do it with zero to five. I'll give it a four out of five. I thought it was really well done. I would even give it a four and a half if the ending didn't suck, because I thought everything else was really well done. So, That's there you go. Uh, Michael, what did you give it out of five? Um, overall, in the end, I felt like Unfriended was just like a pretty creepy movie. And after it, I was really scared. And whenever I'm on Skype, like I am right now, always in the back of my mind, I will be thinking about this movie. So yes. in the end, I am going to give Unfriended a four out of five stars, just because of you know, the characters are really just terrible people and very yeah. unlikable. And yeah. um, the ending, like Gore said, is one of the worst endings I've seen in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Ever? <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's, it's bad. bad. It's really bad. Uh, it's really just the last 10 seconds. Like, yeah, yeah. when the laptop closes and the demon face appears, that's when it just... Is it even, is it even scary looking? Uh, it, it doesn't you even look even like her. It. You like, don't even like, see it. Alright, It doesn't even look like the so character that it, was, uh, that it was supposed to be. Uh, and just one last thing real quick. I thought also the paranoia and, the, and the, like them going against each other was really well done in the film, too. So, there you go. That's it. Alright, cool. So, be sure to uh, subscribe to Gore at Gore the Movie God and subscribe to, because this is going to be in your channel, right, Michael? Yeah. And Alright, so subscribe to me at, uh, at Pickle Link and I'll also link watch me on DreamWorks TV. Okay. Yeah. Alright, All right, cool. Alright, this is, this is fun. Right. Yeah, this is fun. Alright, I gotta go, but, uh, see you. Alright, see you. Uh,